Hey folks, we're back for another showdown with The Office. This time it's going to be on Jeopardy for the Wii. It'll be a showdown between Phyllis, Creed, and Karen. And to honor the life and legacy of the beloved host, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, Trebek. <laughs> this. Party. And now, here are the categories for the Jeopardy round. And we have one, one daily double up there in one of them. In these categories. They are Historic, Historic Munich, Munich Manimal, Manimal, Playwrights, Playwrights, Meet the Robinsons, Meet the Robinsons, Unofficial State, unofficial state nicknames, nicknames, and I only, and I only have eyes for you. For you. A lot of clues, a lot of Start us off. Player one, Phyllis. make a selection. While pointing the Wii remote at the screen, press the A button to select a clue. Let's go with official state nicknames for 200. With unofficial state nicknames for 200. Seward's Ice Box. Phyllis. Player one, what is Alaska? Or press the corresponding yes, that is correct. Go again, Phyllis. We return to you. Um, official st unofficial state nicknames for four hundred. The Switzerland of America and the highest state. Phyllis. Okay, player one. What is Colorado? You are right. State nickname six hundred. You the birthplace of eight presidents. Phyllis. Yes, player one. What is Virginia? Uh, right. You get to um, pick again, player one. State nicknames eight. Kelly will present this clue. Though it's called the Star Spangled Banner State, this is its flag. Phyllis. Let's hear it. What is Maryland? You got it. Pick again. Please pick again, um, player one. State nicknames for a thousand, please. The coal state and the birth state of the nation. Creed. Okay, player two. Uh, what is Pennsylvania? Yep. Hey, you're right. Pick again, Creed. Player two. Back Let's two. do Manable for 200. In a Rudyard Kipling story, one of these animals saves a family from a deadly cobra. Phyllis? Let's hear it, player one. What is a mongoose? You're done. Correct. Player hmm. one. Man animal furs. 400, please. A rhesus or a macaque? Phyllis? Player one. What's a monkey? Yes. Indeed. You um, Manimal for six. Daily double. Answer. The daily double. I'm gonna bet it all. And you have the you do it all. And okay. This. Of the three animals on Ontario Canada's coat of arms, the one that fits the category. What's a moose? Congratulations. That's correct, Phyllis. Player one. Choose again, player one. Manimal eight. The scarlet species of this tropical flyer is known for its brilliant plumage and strong voice. Karen? Player three? What's Macaw? Welcome to the game. Go again, Karen. Select again. Um, manual for a thousand, please? We're sure you'll just love on Dr. Zabethicus, this rodent. Karen? Yes, player three. What's a muskrat? That's correct. You're right. You again, player three. How about, um, meet the Robinsons for, um, 
200. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Karen. Let's hear it, player three. Who's Jackie Robinson? You are correct. You get to pick again. Meet the Robinsons for 400, please. Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Uh, Creed. Player two. Who is Bojangles? That's right. Go again, Creed. Player two. Um, Meet the Robinsons, 600. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Here's what we want. Smokey Robinson. It was Smokey Robinson. Oh, well. Select again. 800 on... Uh, um, Meet the Robinsons, 8. In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMonda to become middleweight boxing champ. Creed. Okay, player two. Um, who is Sugar Ray Robinson? Yes, that's correct. Um, Meet the Robinsons for a grand. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Uh, Creed. Player two. Who is Edward? Yeah, hey, you're right. Choose again, player. Go again, if you would, Creed. Playwrights for Playwrights for 200, you say? His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Phyllis? Yes, player one. Who is Eugene O'Neill? Yes. <laughs> player one, do, back to you. Let's do 400 on playwrights. Public disgust over his play Ghosts caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his an enemy of the people. Karen. Player three. Who is Ibsen? Who was Henrik Ibsen? Yes. Yes. Player three. For 600 and playwrights. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Phyllis. Okay. Player one. Who is Tennessee Williams? Hey, you're right. We return to you, player one. Playwrights 800. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. The correct it was is Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe. Player one. Pick again. Let's do playwrights for a thousand. A 1934 New York City taxi driver strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Nope. Creed? Yes, player. Um, what? Who is Clifford Odets? That That's player. right. Player two. Back Let's try. Historic Munich for 200. On Munich's coat of arms, you'll find one of these religious figures who originally settled the city and gave it its name. Karen? Let's hear it, player three. What's a monk? Right, you are. Um, back to you. Munich for 400? Munich's motto used to be Die Weltstadt mit Herz, the world city with this. Creed? Player two. What is. Money? No! Right. Anyone else here to try to come up with Phyllis Karen? Phyllis. It's player one. What's a uh, heart? Incorrect. 
please pick again, player one. Munich for 600. In 1634 and 1635, this deadly contagion devastated Munich, killing more than one third of its residents. Phyllis? Let's hear it, player one. What is bubonic plague? You are correct. You get to pick again. Let's do historic Munich for eight. The Summer Olympics in Munich in this year were sadly marred by terrorism and tragedy. Karen. Okay, player three. What is in 1972? Yep, you're right. Go again, Karen. We return to you, player three. Hmm. Munich for a grand, please. In the 16th century, Munich was a center of the German phase of this movement against Protestantism. Karen. What is the Counter-Reformation? You, you are right. Choose again. Player three. I only have eyes for you. For how much? Um... 200. Heterohelix is the English variety of this climbing plant. Karen? Yes, player three. What's an ivy? Yes. Select again. 400? Here's Kelly. She'll show you. In monozygotic, or this type of twin, the genetic makeup of each twin is exactly the same. Phyllis. It's player one. What is identical? That's right. Um, 600, please. Roger that, Houston. The rocket engines have reached this point of firing to life. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is ignition? You're right. <laughs> player one. 800. It's a list of places to be visited on a journey. Yes, Karen. What's an itinerary? Yes. And the last, the last clue. One thousand dollars. The male of this wild goat of the Alps has backward curving horns that may be as long as it is tall. Player Karen, three. what's an ibex? You, you are right. Okay, we have Creed will go first in double jeopardy. It means that player two will go first in the double jeopardy round. Two daily doubles awaiting you guys. Double jeopardy. Categories of religion. Did you did you plan it, plan it that, that way? way? Which president's Which cabinet? president's cabinet? Missing links. Missing links. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. And quote and the quote Raven. the Raven. Notice the spelling. Let's get back into this now. You have to lead off Creed. Um. Did you plan it that way for 400, please? Orbiting at about 67 million miles, it's the second planet from the sun. Creed. Okay, player two. Oh, uh, what is Venus? <laughs> Correct. You again. Planet for eight. It's moon Ganymede is the largest in the solar system. Phyllis. Layer one. What is Jupiter? You are correct. For 1,200, please, and did you plan it that way? The least dense planet in the solar system. It would actually float if you could find a big enough tub to put it in. Phyllis. Yes, layer one. What is Saturn? Good. Hey, you're right. Choose again, layer one. Planet 16? In 2005, NASA experimented with a low-pressure greenhouse to grow plants on this carbon dioxide-rich planet. Phyllis? Layer one? Uh, what is Mars? You're right. You again, layer one. Did you plan it that way for 2000? In 1781, 
It became the first planet discovered in modern times. Phyllis? Okay, layer one. What is Uranus? Right. right. Please pick again, layer one. Let's do Quoth the Raven. For 400, please. This character has gone psycho long before he says, she might have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Phyllis? Player one? Who's Norman Bates? Yes. Correct. Player one, back to you. Raven 8. Kathleen Quinlan finds comfort talking to shrink B.B. Anderson in I Never Promised You a This. Creed. Okay, layer two. What is uh, Rose Garden? Yes! Nice layer two. Pick Quoth the Raven 12. As John Nash in this movie, Russell Crowe does quite a bit of talking to people who don't exist. Player two. Creed. What's a beautiful mind? Yes. Yes. Uh, you pick a Raven, eight, Raven 16. This Johnny Depp character tells his psychiatrist, you are a great lover like myself. Karen? Yes, player three. Who is, who is Don Juan DeMarco? Yes. <laughs> you get to pick again, player three. Um, Raven 2000. In Quills, this author muses, my glorious prose filtered through the minds of the insane. They might improve it. Karen. Yes, player three. Who is Marquis de Say? Good. That is right. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Hmm. Which president's cabinet for 400, please? Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Here's the it was Barack Obama. Obama. We return to you. President's Mr. cabinet for 800, please. Secretary of State Dean Rusk, both JFK and him. Karen. Let's hear it, player three. Who is Lyndon B. Johnson? Yes. Correct. Please pick again. 1,200. Secretary of Education William Bennett, Secretary of State. George Schultz. Phyllis. Layer one. Who is Ronald Reagan? That's it. Correct. Layer one. Back For to 1600, you. please. Secretary of Labor, George Schultz. Attorney General, John Mitchell. Phyllis. Layer one. Who's Richard Nixon? Yep. Layer one. 2000 on which president's cabinet? Secretary of the Interior, James R. Garfield. Secretary of War, William Howard Taft. Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. Who's Teddy Roosevelt? Yes. You got it. You get to pick again, player one. Let's do religion for um, 400. As part of Catholic baptism, this word doesn't mean time at the gym, but the casting out of demons. Phyllis. Okay, layer one. What is exercise? Exorcism. <laughs> you are right. For 800, please. The autobiography of a yogi was a popular book by this religion's first missionary to settle in the U.S. 
Phyllis? Yes, player one. What's Hindu? Hinduism. Yeah. That's right. Player one, you pick again, please. Hmm. Religion for 1200. Founded by Mary Baker Eddy in 1879 was formerly called the Church of Christ this. Creed. Let's hear it. Player uh, what is a scientist? Hey. Yes. Um, again, player religion 16. At a deer park, Buddha taught the path of this many parts, part of the four noble truths. Creed. Player two. Oh, uh, what is two? No. Anyone else? Phyllis or Karen? Karen. Okay. Player um, two. what is eight? That's, That's right. You again, player three. Religion 2000. Here's Kelly from our Clue Crew with the clue. The nave, the central part of a cruciform church, ends in this recessed area that is usually vaulted. Creed. It's player two. What? Uh, what is, uh, don't? No! Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's it three. was the apps. The apps. Player three, back to you. So your turn, Karen. Let's do. Um, Edgar Allan Poe for four hundred. According to an eighteen thirty-three description, Poe dressed entirely in this color. Creed. Yes, player two. What is blue? Uh, no. Any other? Phyllis or Karen? Karen. Okay, player three. What's black? Yes, you're right. 800, please, uh, on Poe. Poe's wife, who po. passed away at age 24, had this name, like the state at whose university Edgar studied. Yes, Karen. Three. What is Virginia? That's correct. <laughs> Let's do 1,200 on Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, it's a daily double. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? My wager? How much are you going to wager, player three? Hmm. I'm going to wager... Um... Fourteen hundred dollars. Here is your daily double clue. The first obituary of Poe, which spoke of the frailties of genius, appeared in this city's Sun newspaper. What's Baltimore? Yeah! Wow, you got yourself fifteen thousand. Hey, Poe for sixteen. In eighteen forty-two, Poe reviewed this British author's Barnaby Rudge, which features. Hmm. A human like Raven. Uh, Cream? Who's Dickens? That's it! Correct. And 2000 on Edgar Allan Poe. Poe won an 1833 short story contest with a story about one of these found in a bottle. Uh, Creed. It's player two. Uh, what's a message? No! That's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Um, Phyllis. Let's hear it, player one. What is a uh, manuscript? That's, right. That's it. You got it. Choose again, player one. Missing links for 400, please. Correct. Select again. 
It hurt, please. I owe blank wedding anniversary. Phyllis. Okay, layer one. But it's silver. Right. You are correct. We return. Um, to missing links for twelve. Break the blank of America. Um, Creed. Yes, player two. Oh, uh, what is a bank? Yes. Good. Please pick again, player two. Missing link sixteen. Fall by the blank in. Creed. Let's hear it, player two. What is Wayside? Right, you are. And the last clue. And now the two thousand dollar clue. Oh, it's a daily double. <laughs> so, the second daily double. Player two. You're I'll bet two thousand. What will it be? What are you going to wait? Here is your clue. News blank photography. What is flash? Good for you. You got it. All three will be around for final jeopardy. I'll see you all for final jeopardy in just a moment. Final Jeopardy still to come, and here's the category. The 50 states. The 50 states. What are you going to wait for? How much are you going to bet, you guys? All right, guys, place your bets. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. And the last clue? It was the only state physically and politically formed directly because of the Civil War. Hmm. See everyone did. What did, you put what did Creed put down as his response? What is West Virginia? And this that is correct. <laughs> and how much? Oh, he wagered everything but a buck, so he goes up to fifteen thousand five ninety nine. Let's see how much. Let's see what Karen came up with. She also said West Virginia. She's also right. How much? Did you <laughs> and how much did she wager? Response. Didn't wager anything, so she stays right where she is at fifteen thousand dollars. And Phyllis also said West Virginia. She's right. Yeah. And her, and she risked eighteen hundred dollars. So that brings your score up to winning total of twenty five thousand dollars. Congratulations, Phyllis Lap and Vance from the office. Both well done. See you again. Come on, everybody. I'll see you for the next gameplay, everyone.